To get gas to those delicate little lamps, we need slightly beefier engineering. And to begin with, that means pipes. And once upon a time, pipes were made from cast iron or steel. But these days, it tends to be flexible plastic, which is heavy enough in itself. But it doesn't come much beefier than this, this giant tin can. This is our gas holder. And this is where all the gas comes from before it comes to our houses. As the gas flows in, it's just the pressure that holds the three massive sections. The gas doesn't leak away as the whole thing, a 14 million gallon pool of water. But if you could swim in here, you'd definitely need a gas mask. It's a clever design that I've been proud of myself. Now when gas was manufactured in towns, it was called town gas, that was the only place to put it. But now we get our gas from the North Sea, it comes from the North Sea through pipes into the big tank here and is held in reserve for when it's most needed. When demand is high, the same pipe lets gas out and then overnight it refills again. It really takes hours, but we've gone for some high-speed gas here just to show you the beautiful way the sections screw together. It's like a massive piece of kinetic sculpture. Some of these Goliaths are bobbing up after 130 years, whatever the weather. 